If you don't know Jack, here to say a few words is the mastermind of ETS, Jack Van Dyke. I've driven five. Five people I think uh, embody the spirit of ETS. And I think these guys are going to do really well for us this year. So each member of the Driven Five will have a certain goal that they're working towards. It could be a race, a triathlon, a personal challenge, or any other kind of competition. And an individualized program is going to be created for each of them. And during that time, they're going to have access to services like the body composition, nutritional support and guidance, coaching sessions, access to the athletic training zone, and coach-led training sessions. But most importantly, they're going to have access to the indomitable spirit that they have within themselves and that we also find very inspiring. It's our pleasure to introduce you formally to the Driven Five, Mark Morin, Liz McLeod, Amy Woodward, Aristotle Serenis, and Heather McKenna. I'm looking to compete in the Calgary Half Ironman being held over the August long weekend. The second part of my Driven Five goal is dedicated to raising awareness and educating people on Crohn's and colitis, as well as raising money for the Crohn's and colitis Foundation of Canada. Two years ago, I was diagnosed with ulcerative colitis. I'm really looking forward to using my training, competing, and exposure through the Driven Five to bring awareness to Crohn's and colitis. I want to get gutsy, which is their catchphrase, talk about the disease, share my experiences, and finish top three in my age group at 70.3. I'm particularly grateful for this opportunity because, frankly, I didn't think I'd get it. Uh, when I made my proposal to ETS, they knew I'd never done a triathlon, let alone a half Ironman, and they knew I'd had and continue to have a number of leg injuries. Nevertheless, ETS chose me and paired me up with a coach who has a wealth of experience in training with and recovering from injury. In terms of inspiration, if I had to choose just one person, it would be a gentleman by the name of Michael Collins, a very talented writer and ultramarathon. It was Colin's insights into why we push ourselves that inspired me to put some running shoes onto my troubled legs and pursue, as Colin's writes, the solace of movement. Thanks. But my ultimate goal this year is uh, I entered the Ironman Canada. So it's the full Ironman um, at the end of August, which I'm very nervous about, but I know John will help me get there. Um, the second fold, similar to Amy, um, I'm dedicating my training and all my races bring awareness to the Canadian Breast Cancer Foundation. I'm raising funds for the foundation as well as entering into other events such as uh, the Weekend to Conquer Cancer and um, the Weekend to End Breast Cancer events as well. My dad was um, diagnosed with terminal cancer. <laughs> Sorry. After seeing his daily struggles and unexpected life changes and stuff, I wanted to try and do something that I could try and relate to what he went through every day. And I decided to try and do an endurance event. So here I am, I'm doing this for myself, my kids, but I'm hoping to encourage my dad and keep him going because I'm going to need his support across that finish line and uh, to run in the memory of a friend. So. I remember what it was like to be an athlete in high school and in college. And I turned that dream into an athletic therapist and worked with athletes for years and loved it and, and trained with them. And then I got married and had kids and they came first. I get up at the bottom of the totem pole. So when they put that up, I thought, I get to go to the top. And right now, <laughs> I am at the top. I, I've never walked into a gym before in my life and stood so tall in my life, thanks to these guys. So I'm doing this for my kids, I'm doing it for my mom. For my dad. Thank you. You guys are going to go through some highs, a lot of lows, but at the end of the day, it's well worth it. That's why we do it. It's not for money, it's not for fame, it's for something inside. So always keep that in mind when you're out there. It's for yourself, first and foremost. Okay, good luck, you guys. My philosophy is believing in a holistic approach and listening to your body and training on those days you really need to train hard and maybe backing off and taking a day of rest when you need to and if I could offer one piece of advice is uh, 
take those uh, pride in those daily victories, little steps, if you finish a length, if you have a great set, you know, it's about those little victories and those short, short goals to the big goal because if you look at the big goal, you'll get overwhelmed. So, and those goals are big and they're going to be wonderful once you get there. So. Being able to, to, to dig deep and, and push past some of those mental barriers. And, and one thing I talk about a lot, especially when I, when I get in the pool, is you know, when, you, when you jump in the pool and, and you're underwater for 15 or, or 45 seconds and you know, those alarm bells start going off and, and you know, you, your, your brain is screaming, I need more air and I need, I need to get up onto the surface. And, and, and that's, just a, that's just a mechanism in your body that, that, that it's, it's an early timing system. You, you can easily be under there for a couple of minutes and, and still be totally fine. So know that, know that you have 25 seconds and, and you, can be, you, can go to, you can go to two minutes. And, and that's, and that's, that's my embodiment. So. Good luck, everybody, and I hope uh, you enjoy the journey together. I think one thing just to keep in mind that I've learned from triathlon, and again, my background is synchro, uh, is that you can do way more, way more than you ever think is possible. So just remember that. <laughs> and um, one more thing is, yes, we are providing a program and a plan, which is obviously presented to you in a very structured way. But just remember, like Megan said, that there is flexibility within that program, and you do have to train smart. So again, it is a guide. Make sure that you use your coaches. I am extremely passionate about coaching, and if you need someone to inspire you, like call me up, and I'll be there with you. Seriously. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be there with you. <laughs> okay. Okay. Good luck. My philosophy, um, just being a part of the ETS programs is a holistic approach in looking at health and performance and you know, with nutrition, the mind aspect, as well as performance and the training. So just looking at combining all of those to achieve goals. And these individuals might have the same goal at the end of 70.3, but they're gonna have very different paths getting there. And uh, looking at each of them as individuals and, and customizing what they need to get there. So really excited about that. 